evening everyone so I just got off work a little bit ago and before I make dinner for the pantry challenge part of the pantry challenge is trying to use up things so I have two of these seasonings one of them is a bas basil balsamic balsamic veggie marinade mix and the other one is a garden herb veggie marinade mix so what I'm going to do with these is I'm actually going to mix them with water um, instead of the water and oil and the vinegar because I'm going to be using them to make some beef jerky. We had some, it's a real thin sliced beef loin New York steak um, in the freezer and so I'm going to go ahead and get these marinated so that we can actually make beef jerky out of them so that way I can use up these and get this out of my freezer. So let me show you what I'm going to do on that. Okay, so I've had this thawing in my refrigerator for a couple days, and it seems pretty thawed out now. So what I'm going to do with these see, it is a super thin sliced of meat. I'm going to make beef jerky out of all of this. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix these two. Um, yeah, I'm going to mix these two and just make a big old batch of beef jerky with these two. Uh, if I need to separate it, I will. So basically what I'm going to do, oh, sorry if that was loud, is I'm just going to dump these two into... A bowl so they are different colors but I think the two flavors together are gonna be really good I mean I could do one of each but I'll just do them together I'm just basically going to make it pretty liquidy. Because those are both about to expire. So, rather than doing that, we're just going to use them for a different purpose. Beef jerky does not last in this house long at all. Alright, so what I have is some gallon size bags. And I'm going to separate them, you know, one piece at a time, just so that they're not, like, totally sticking together. I love how thin those are. These are going to be some nice big pieces of beef jerky. Boy, I'm just throwing meat everywhere. Yeah, these have been in my freezer, and I don't want them to get freezer burned or go to waste. I meant to do it when we first got them, and of course I didn't. This same meat could probably be used for like a stir fry. Look at all these little bitty pieces. Yum. I do about half. The package in this bag. Yeah, it's probably about half. Okay, so now what I'll do, stir this one more time, and I'm just going to pour half of this bowl in here and I'll seal it up I've used these marinades for lots of different beef jerky flavors and they have all come out really really good so I'm going to mix this around and then after I mix it in really good, I'm going to do the other bag, and then I'm going to let these sit in the refrigerator 
um, for about 24 hours and then tomorrow I will put them into the dehydrator. Okay, I got both bags filled. I'm going to get them in the fridge. But I wanted to say I got this package of this thin meat. Let's see what I paid for it. I don't remember when we got it. But, um, this whole package was $24.73. I got it on sale and it's a total of 3.16 pounds. So you get what? Like few ounces of beef jerky at the grocery store for or gas stations whatever for like 12 13 bucks for a little bag of it and this is going to make three pound 3.16 pounds of beef jerky for 24 bucks so that's pretty good all right well, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll get this in the dehydrator so I've got all my beef jerky or meat on the trays to turn into beef jerky and you can see all the seasonings on it so I'm going to go ahead and get this in the dehydrator and get it going. So the jerky is complete. It's nice and brittle and crisp. It took about eight hours in the dehydrator. I put mine at 150. That's what the settings require for my particular dehydrator. So you have to just kind of look at um, the book for yours to see what it is for the settings. So that's all there is to it to make beef jerky. You can also dehydrate it in your oven with the lowest setting possible. Um, you can use any spices. You can do garlic powder, um, green chili powder, salt, pepper. You can soak them in teriyaki. Like, it's unlimited. You don't have to just do the standard. I mean, if you just have some random seasonings, you know, just put them in there and just let them soak overnight. And then when you lay them on on the trays it actually the seasoning will stick to the beef jerky so just you know use your imagination anyway that's what there is to it so i appreciate all of the um wonderful support that i've gotten please remember to like share and subscribe and remember every day is a new beginning stay blessed